Did he get it? Did he get it? He's trying. All right. Believe it or not, there goes the DHL man in the middle of the night. But he left us a package. So let's go see what's in it. Okay, let's put this, let's put this, let's, well, I've got too many projects going. I think I'll have to clean up some first. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Here it is right here. So it departed Hong Kong on Tuesday, yet it arrived in New York on Monday. Must have traveled through a wormhole or something. All right, got a little space cleared off here, so let's open this thing up and see what we have. It's a big box. Alright, nothing in that plastic box. Took a little damage. Alright, here we go. Let's see. It's very lightweight because it should have very tiny things in there. So, da da. Alright, as usual, the packing is pretty good. So, we got this, and we got these two little things. Now, these two little things are, these were just some free add ons because I had some extra points at. PCB way. So that is a, you see it in there, that's a BME 280 pressure, temperature, uh, humidity sensor. So I just had that added on using my beans, they call them, your points. And then this is a, what's that, little nine axis, it's a nine axis, uh, I'm not going to open it right now, thing for a uh, uh, you know, for a quadcopter or an airplane or something, but it has it has three gyro axes, it has three accelerometer axes, and it has three magnetic axes on it. So um, we're going to be playing with that at some point. All right, so here is the package of things that I had made. So I got on line, I designed my circuit board. Oh yeah, these are awesome. These look awesome. I designed my circuit board and then I had PCB Way manufacture these. So let's take a look at one of these things. You know what that is? Wow. Alright. See if we can get it out of here. Here we go. Look at that. A teeny tiny. These aren't. These aren't. I don't know. Can you guys even tell how big this thing is? Let me see if I can. This should be. I mean, it's uh, it's tiny. I'm trying to get a perspective. Okay, so it's uh, should be 28. Yep. 28 by 28. Got 64 LEDs. These are two millimeters each. Now these are like NeoPixels, but they're a little bit different. All right, so there's that. Let's see. So these things are tiny. Now let me get another one out because what I did see if I can get my hands on this. So what I did was this. So we can put them together 
and they should solder across right there so the output goes to the input right and then when we do them like this they should have equal spacing look you can't even tell you can't even tell that there right because I did the spacing exactly the same just exactly for that reason so I have one two three and f five of them all right so that was the minimum that I could order was five so I got these made now these are not exactly NeoPixels or WS 2812Bs they're really they're really models of the WS 2812 or 2813B which has a extra uh, input and output these have six inputs and outputs each and that is so that if one of them goes bad it will bypass that one and continue to the rest of them so let me uh, let me get some something to show you the size of these things okay here is a quarter so they're the size of a quarter right they're little little tiny things all right so I guess see if the camera will fo how close I can focus this camera oh yeah yeah these actually look really nice look at that really nice yep look at that the silk screen you can even see the 2020 right there on the silk screen that's crazy all right I have no complaints with these with this tiny I mean I can't imagine trying to uh, trying to do this myself they're just way too small all right so what remains to be seen is whether we can use these things with a standard NeoPixel library I think that we can according to the data sheet I think that we can but we have to figure that out so let's try that out okay one thing I forgot to show you was that I did do this I made these at 2.54 right so we can put pens on here if we want to they're the right they're the right spacing for that so for the getting started pens before we solder them together we can just do this and use that anyway that was an intentional design thing okay so I have this running to ground I'll just show you the back right so ground this is at 3.3 uh, it's running off the source for my ESP32 this is the secondary input which we're not using right now it, it, uh, and then this is the primary input so once the primary input goes in then you get a primary and a secondary output out over here and that would get transferred on but for the input we just need one input to the primary okay and well of course I'm just running the standard NeoPixel library and uh, so far everything is going great okay so I can't um, man you know how these things work you can't film NeoPixels and capture their awesomeness but this just looks great right so put it I mean everything everything here looks really really cool alright so let me try some well let's look at the data sheet all right, this is the data sheet. So the part that we're using is, is this one right here, which is the TX1813N1. 
and I believe what it's doing uh, is is similar to the uh, WS twenty eight one three B, which is a newer version of the uh, NeoPixel, and it uh, has six leads in it. So this is in a 2020 package, which means that it's two millimeters by two millimeters. All right, so we'll skip that stuff. Okay, so here's the package, six pins, and we'll go, okay, here we go. So you have the, this is the primary input, this is the secondary input, and then your uh, power. The power can range, let me find the spec, yeah, right here. The power can range from three to seven and a half volts, okay? So, awesome, big range. You can run it from 3.3. .3. Uh, here's your ground, and then here is your data output and your uh, secondary output. So what happens is if one of these burns out, let me show you a, a diagram uh, right here. Okay, so let's just say uh, this LED, something goes bad with it and it burns out. With a, with a regular NeoPixel or a 2812B, WS2812B, then everything past this would be dead. But in this case, if this one burns out, then the secondary signal will will come through and go to this one and so this one will just drop out of the system and not light but all the rest of it afterwards will, will light so it's a little bit uh, hardier of a system than the WS2812B uh, it's the 2813B you can get them okay uh, but a couple of other things to note. So we got a big range of uh, input voltage, right? So I'm running it at 3.3. Um, and then another thing to notice is that the PWM frequency, the pulse width modulation of the LEDs themselves, is at 4,000 hertz, okay? So that's way faster than the WS2812B I believe so you're not gonna you know it's not gonna be blinky when it's moving around it's a, uh, it's, it's a lot better light so and then uh, what else to know okay 12 milliamps for uh, I believe that that's gonna be the max I haven't measured that yet data transmission speed 800 thousand uh, thousand Hertz is your WS uh, 2812B same frequency. It uses pretty much the same format. I did notice that some of these timings are a little different than the, than the regular NeoPixel, but uh, it's within tolerances so that you I'm using the standard NeoPixel library. Okay, and uh, other stuff that you can that's, we probably don't really care about any of that. All right, there you go. The TX1813N1 2020 RGB. Okay, I've got this thing going now. I'm only on brightness level 4 out of 255. So, I mean, it's not doing anything, right? But it's still too bright to film. So you can't really see how completely awesome this thing is. Let me turn it over. You can see, so it's just going through um, some colors. I don't know, about about 16, 18 colors going through a cycle of all the different things. But it, it's just, um, man, filming NeoPixels is never, is never easy. But anyway, it's working just it's working fantastic. Okay, well, I guess that is about it. Let me do the little paper trick. I, I wish you could see how absolutely beautiful these LEDs are. They are just fantastic. The color is just really, really nice. Um, but anyway, um, you know, this is 1.1 inches or 28, 28 millimeters square. 
and I couldn't be happier. I think the quality is super good on this, um, especially for as small as it is. Now, I've seen something similar to this uh, for like $35, $40, and I was able to get all five of these for $15 each. Uh, so, you know, it's a it's an experiment, but I'm really happy with it, and I'm thinking I may make more of these. So if you think you're interested in something like this, let me know, and you know maybe we could maybe we could make a bunch of them. I don't know, just fooling around with it now. So I'll be doing more things. I'll be um, you know putting putting them together in a daisy chain, and that sort of thing. So. Alright, uh, I guess that's about it.